Hi guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing and in today's tip video I'm going to show you how you can set up an easy offer folder within your loop and dot loop. Now before we get started I'm going to explain a little bit about what we are doing in this tip video today and then we'll get rolling on how to do it. So dot loop has rolled out this feature uh, within the last few years here that enables you to create an, a link directly to a folder within your loop that you can email out or maybe put in the public remarks of your MLS um, of the listing to enable people to click on that link and go to submit an offer on your listing right away. So let's take a look at how you would do that and it will make a lot more sense as we go along. So the first thing you'll want to do is of course log in to dotloop.com and you'll want to simply click on the loop on your dotloop home screen. Now that'll take you into your loop and of course the general concept of your dotloop account is everything is private until shared. So what we're going to work on doing is making one of your folders actually a public folder for people to access, let's say an offer to purchase in that folder, so they can make an offer on your listing right away. So first thing I would highly recommend doing is creating a whole new folder to do this with. Okay, and you would do this by simply clicking Add Folder on the very top right of your document section. If you do not see an option to add folder, just make sure you don't have any forms or folders clicked here. And you should see add folder right away. So I'll go ahead and select that. And it'll have this new folder display. Now of course you can just leave it the default name or you can rename that. So I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard to go to the end of that folder name. Actually I'm gonna go to end of new and type in easy offer folder and then maybe the property address here. Okay, so I created a folder specifically for easy offers. Now what I'd like to do is I would probably wanna pull in a few things like an offer to purchase, maybe the property disclosures into this folder. So I'll go ahead and choose templates. So that first option, that first blue box that's displaying there. If you do not see these blue boxes automatically, which you should, but if not, you can always click Add Document to the right of the folder name to view these blue boxes right, in, right away. I'm going to select the first Templates option to browse through my templates. Now, your templates will look slightly different than mine, and that's okay. Your office staff puts your templates into your .loop account for you, Okay, so that'll look different depending on which market center you're with. But if you'd like to follow along in this example, I'm going to go to the folder that I think would have the offer to purchase in it, okay, wherever that contract would sit. And I can use this search bar at the top of this little pop-up box here to search for whatever form I'm looking for. So let's say I'm looking for the offer, so I'm going to search for that form name, and I can simply click on the checkbox, the left of whichever form I'd like to make public in my folder here. Once I select that checkbox to the left of that form name, I can simply click copy on the bottom right to pull that right into my loop. All right, so I selected copy on the bottom right here. I see this nice green check mark that one of one was imported. All right, in theory, you could also pull in those property disclosures as typically that'll be needed to submit the offer as well. Totally up to you on that one. So now what I want to do is I'm going to click on the checkbox to the left of the folder I'd like to set up as an easy offer. Now a couple things need to be done in order for this to have the option to set up as an easy offer. All right, and that is we need to have it labeled as an active listing as well. So on the top, I already have this done, but if you do not, in that first dropdown, it might say something like to select the status, and we'll wanna change this first dropdown to listing for sale. Okay, this is really important that you do these steps or this won't be possible. So again, the first dropdown, we're labeling that as listing for sale. 
And then that second drop down, okay, and a second drop down will only appear once you've changed the first one. So make sure you change that first drop down. Now I have the second drop down, which I can change to active listing. Right, again, it has to be set up as an active listing in this loop here in order to have this easy offer option appear on the top right. So now that I have this labeled as an active listing, I can come up here to the top right and click set up easy offer. Okay, so you should see that option display on the top right as soon as it's an active listing. So I'll go ahead and click on set up easy offer and this is on the top right. It's written in red right under this black toolbar here. So I'll select set up easy offer. So now what I'm going to do is it'll give you step by step instructions on what to do here. So first thing I really need to do is go ahead and check the folder of which you would want to make a public folder. Okay, so again, everything in this folder would be viewable by whoever has this link. And we'll go over that more in just a moment here. So once I click which folder I'd like to make an easy offer folder, it'll give you this link right here. Okay, so this is a share link. So once I click copy here, it copied it to my clipboard and I can click save. Now once I click save, I can then go put this link wherever I would like to. Okay, so just some ideas of where to go put that. I have seen agents go to the public remarks and put this link in. Say something like, if you'd like to make an offer on this property, please click here. Okay, so it enables people to access the offer to purchase. And by the way, it would be a great thing to do as well to go into the offer to purchase and update things like your seller's names, okay, and maybe the property details so that whenever uh, someone is trying to fill out that offer, it already has some of the information entered in. They don't have to go find that. Okay, so again, this link is great to maybe put in the public remarks. So maybe if there is a buyer who maybe doesn't even have an agent that they come across this listing on Zillow, let's say, they would have a link to submit an offer right away. Another idea of where you can put this link, if an, an agent emails you and says, hey, I had a showing on your property today and I'm planning on making an offer, you can respond back and say, that's great. Feel free to click here to access the offer right away. Okay, so they can submit an offer right from this link here. So once I click save, you will notice that this gives you the, it tells you right here in red that this is accessible via easy offer. So I just want to warn you guys about a couple things. So again, everything in this folder is viewable by the public as long as they have that link. So if you email out that link or if you put that link on your MLS listing, everything in this folder would be accessible to anyone with that link. So be warned, make sure not to put anything in this folder. You wouldn't want to add any documents that are confidential into this folder. Okay, because again, that's viewable by the public. So just be very cautious about what you're putting into this folder as you would only want to put things that is okay to be seen by the public by someone making an offer on that. So it's really important to note. All right, one more thing to note, you also can't share anything from an easy offer folder. So I would not be able to share this form directly to anyone since it is viewable by the public if they have this link. All right, so if you wanted to cut off this easy offer option here. I could definitely do that. The steps are very easy to turn off the easy offer. I would do that by clicking this checkbox again, go back to set up easy offer, and just disable the link here. Okay, so I can add disable link right here. I would then click save, okay, because it shows me it's disabled here. I would click save. And I now know that it has been disabled. Okay, so now no one with that link would be able to view that and I could share that document right away. So it's a really great feature to allow people to easily make an offer on your listing. And one more really cool feature that that entails, if someone does submit an offer from your easy offer link that you send them, it actually creates a new folder with your loop, within your loop that you already have created. And it says something like easy offer submitted by this agent. Okay, so you might have run into in the past that when an agent makes an offer on your listing within dot loop, it creates a whole nother loop within your account. 
which is annoying <laughs> to have that second loop created. All right, so this will avoid the two loop situation and it will just create a new folder within your loop here with that offer. All right, so it's a really great feature. I highly recommend trying it out as I think it'll make your life and the person creating an offer so much easier. Let us know if you have any questions at all. Feel free to email us at support at scottleroymarketing.com with any questions you might have. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.